So a new way to pay for healthcare, um, Edwin, uh, city and co-founder of Snark Health. We're combining data assets, digital assets, and narrow networks. And basically what we're doing is we're inventing how patients uh, access and pay for healthcare. And which we're, we're giving patients an opportunity to see a doctor for zero dollars. So we're removing uh, financial barriers to care. And then also we are creating what we call a revolutionary checking account. So the data that is being created continuously between doctor and patient is going to fund their checking account to pay for healthcare today because that data is selling it. It's, it's already identified. And then the third option, which is the Novel Health Savings Vehicle, this is this is a savings account which is going to pay for their future healthcare expenses. So all this is just built around the patient and their doctor. Right. So just to give uh, context what we're trying to solve is is the is the payment and the three payment the three ways we pay for healthcare is not working both for patients and doctors it's either fee for service capital payments bundled payments and the issue of cost and access is not unique to Kenya alone this is a global problem and in Kenya we only have about twenty three percent of the population having access to some form of uh, healthcare insurance. So Snack Health, we're we approaching it in four ways. Uh, we've created a platform that's connecting patients and doctors with the narrow network for diagnosis and treatments. So we have what we call at-risk contracting. A patient can come on the platform and say, hey, I don't have money to pay the doctor, but I'm willing to exchange my data. So then Snack Health or doctor will go at risk for the consultation fee and pay. So if the doctor says, I need to pay bills, so I still need to get paid. So Snack Health will pay on behalf of the uh, patient and then we make money during data monetization uh, we recover our, our you know our cash and then we have a liquid providers section where uh, a liquid can liquid provider can come on the platform and fund x number of patients and then that means the liquid providers they pair in this case so they will earn majority of the earnings after we sell the data and then lastly our health savings vehicle which is a Hippocratic coin this one is I think of it like a reward system it keeps building over time and patients can use it to pay for healthcare expenses as needed right so our, our customer segment is hospitals payers doctors and patients and we're guaranteeing patients improved access and lowering cost for them and doctors fund, uh, serving more funded patients in terms of the market potential of initial market is Kenya. So we are, our SOM for now is 70 to $80 million. Uh, and I mean, just to give you a snapshot, data revenue alone with 1 billion members, we're looking at 28 billion revenue. This is global. Uh, we make money on, uh, you know, 9% on transaction fees, that is on consultation fee for service model. And then we also do revenue share with hospitals in our system. And then what we're calling future healthcare, we monetize on the data. So depending who is the pair, uh, the earnings are split. If it's snack health, then you'll get 90% of the earnings. If you ask who is a data customer, those are pharmaceuticals, health systems, and, and even the government. So in turn, this unit economies, we can go a bit deeper if, if there's interest, but just for a quick snapshot. In, in a case of West snack health, the pair will earn as little from 70 to $256. Uh, and this is our Hippocratic coin, which which we've done our distribution. Um, our cap is twenty one billion, and uh, we're building it on Hedera, and we chose Hedera because of the speed of transactions. Uh, competition is out there, but what we're seeing mostly is bundled payments conveners and telemedicine companies. So they're not really doing anything new because they're just making the cost and uh, to care expensive. So for us, we'll compete on fees. We can even go up to all the way to zero because we know. We're leveraging on the data, so this is where we'll make most and will help more patients access afford healthcare in the end. So our attraction is up there. We have 5,000 patients working with them, over 100 consultations per week, and GAP data is our important data plus, uh, customer because they're helping us with packaging and sale of the data. The data, and that's the team. Uh, Hank, I've known him for twenty-five years. Uh, he's bringing in eighteen plus years of experience in healthcare. I'm the engineer leading the tech, and Karen is doing the doctor facing in terms of you know just understanding how we can connect with the medical practitioners on our platform, their concerns, and so on. And then Shomit is advising us on fundraising and so on. Yeah, so uh, the app is out there. It's both on Android and USSD for folks who don't have internet access uh, in our region. And I'll stop there, but that's a quick summary, basically, uh, in terms of, you know, onboarded, how many patients and partnerships. Yeah.
I'll be to hear your questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Edwin. That was right on time. And it must be really difficult to pack so many information only in uh, five minutes. Uh, but that's why we have another eight minutes for some questions. And I'm, su I'm sure there will be some questions. So um, back to the judges. Yeah, I have one initial question. Um, that looked like some impressive revenue numbers for reselling the data. Have you tested these revenue numbers for the willingness to pay? Are there any buyers yet? Yes, so the I think uh, yeah, just to think of it like proof of transaction, right? Um, so Gap Data have already gotten as a pharmaceutical who's interested, and for them they were just investigating a specific drug for malaria, and and so they were able to write us a check. But but for us we said okay, instead of us struggling to look for all these data customers who's going to buy. Uh, we leave it to the data brokers because they've been in the game for a while, so they'll just find out the, the, the buyers. So we're still in, a, because we've just turned on things recently, so, uh, and the reason also being part of this program is to look for all this partnership and figure out how we can now go a bit faster in onboarding, um, let's call it data acquisition strategy. Um, I have a question. How how do you facilitate the payments uh, in this in this scenario? Like when okay, you yeah, so you... yes, so the, so the patient is presented choices, right? So the patient can come on board and say, "I have insurance. Uh, I'm, I can afford to pay a doctor, so I don't really need to be part of the monetization. I will just pay directly. So if they're paying cash, then we we already have M-Pesa integrated, which I believe you've heard oh. of it. Um, so, yeah. so they top up on your wallet and you proceed to pay. And if you say you have an insurance company, no problem. Is it listed on our platform? Yes. And then you just select your insurance and then snack it and chase the insurance for our money. But if you come on platform and say, I don't have any of that, I can't afford a doctor, then snack it will, will step in and pay for your consultation fee. Um, and then that way, uh, so, so everything is now within our wallet, yeah, behind the scenes. So you, you would be the one that's paying the doctor the money for the consultation? Yes, exactly, to go straight to their wallet and then they can withdraw to their, okay, yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Maybe, oh yeah, Martin, you go ahead. No, no, no. Uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> thanks. Uh, thanks Edwin for the, for the insights. Uh, I think it's really a, a big uh, change. Uh, if I look from your perspective, I can imagine that uh, on, on the other side of the world, we, uh, we do things differently. Um, if you would like to skill, do you skill then via signing more hospitals going to use, or do you need to go via individuals? No, so so what we, we started earlier on with individuals where you know we're waiting for someone to download an app, you know, social media, and then they connect with doctors. But you see, in a week, probably you're not having so many encounters. So we decided to move now to hospitals because that's where we generate large volumes of data. So in, right now we're in the process of onboarding 7,000 facilities and we're doing it in a clever way. So we, we have a database that is already out there by the Ministry of Health and we have an open API. So we're plugging in the DB to us and then we want patients to help us trigger claim your profile on those hospitals. So a patient would be like, but this is my favorite hospital, I want to be part of it. And we tell them no, but it's not onboarded with snacket. So can you tell them you want? So they would just see like a hundred claim your profile coming to them. Then they'll be like, what the heck is snacket? And then we onboard them. And then once we have large volumes of hospitals, then that translates to large volume of data sets. And then that way, when you do the identification and depending uh, what data customers are looking for, that's when our business would be kicking in nicely. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. yeah. And, and do you see also um, uh, questions popping up around uh, using the data? Uh, I know some some banks, especially in the Netherlands, uh, tried to do so, and it was a, a yes. big push against to, to use that. Yeah. But how is it here? Because it's, it sounds to me quite confidential, although it yes. will help the system. 
Yes, yes, yes. And especially, I mean, healthcare data is very sensitive. I wouldn't want any of my shit to be out there. Um, but what we've done is we, we are following. Uh, so in Kenya, we have what we call Data Privacy Act. And then we have the office dedicated for uh, data protection. So the first thing we did, we worked to the office and started building uh, our processes. What, what kind of information we are taking? How do you do the identification? How do, they, how do you strip off the identifiers? And they were happy with that. And then they gave us what we call uh, data processor certification so meaning so they will be coming to do an audit every six months to see if we're doing what uh what we said we were doing or how we're handling the the patient's data and then of course during the onboarding process the patient has the option uh, to read uh, anything to do with data monetization if then if they're not okay with it they simply they they leave it unchecked and our algorithm will simply just skim through and it won't even touch your information yeah. And if in, you wake up one morning and say, I want Snuckle to download and send me the data or destroy, we also have that process in place. Um, it's not to say anything wrong about some, our friends who came in, in our market called WorldCoin, but they missed out that part. And that's why the government shut them out because they just started collecting sensitive information without the, the process. Just an example. Exactly. Nothing against yeah. WorldCoin. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just wondering, like, uh, so one question, I think on your slide, it was saying that you contracted one hospital and you're also yes. saying the growth engine behind your company is pretty much collaborating with the hospitals, but yes. with how many have you spoken so far? Like what's the rate of acceptance there? And yes. what do you usually pitch to them to, to win them over for this kind of project? Because I assume it would be quite difficult to actually win a hospital over like the, uh, yes, the time yes. it also yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So so right now we are working with 300 specialists on the platform. And what we've learned is us doing the way we use the traditional way social media uh, to reach out and talking to us individually, they couldn't see the value quickly. So uh, we decided to use our own 300 specialists to talk to them and say, look, we're not trying to interfere with your work timetable because we're just giving you a passive income. But so there's nothing wrong with you introducing us to your boss. So what right now we're in the process, it's a bit uh, hectic because, you know, we're bootstrapped. So, so we can't do so many campaigns at the same time. Uh, but what we're doing is we're attending all the doctor meetings, uh, doctor conferences, showing them what value we're giving them. And then now the intern, they're convincing their hospitals. So that one is, is moving a bit. Right now we're at at least 100 that, that they see the value uh, because they see we're also the risk is on our side, not on their side, especially the data stuff. Uh, but this other trick that we are building the database, I think that one is going to work because patients constantly triggering the, the hospitals, it will it will it will do a ripple effect. So we'll get more. Yeah. 